What's going on my beautiful people? Welcome back to another recipe video. My name is Alex Scarfe and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a gluten-free vegan lasagna. Super healthy, filled with vitamins and minerals and very easy to make. So let's get right into the kitchen. All right guys, so here are the toppings that I'm gonna to use for the lasagna. So we got some spinach right here. I got a whole bunch of mushrooms, onions, bell peppers, and then I have a mixture of VO Life mozzarella cheese, feta cheese, and a little bit of vegan cream cheese. And for the lasagna sheets, this is the pasta that I'm using right here. As you can see, it's made with brown rice and it is completely gluten-free. I also have some marinara sauce that I'm gonna be using for the sauce. You guys can buy it from the store or you can use a homemade marinara. So first thing we're gonna do right now is boil these lasagna sheets. So let's get to that. So once you bring your water to a boil, you just wanna start adding the lasagna sheets in there slowly. And you don't want to put too many at the same time because they will start to stick. So I'm only putting three at a time right now. So follow the instructions for the cooking time. I'm going to take these out now and just set them on a plate. So while your lasagna sheets are boiling, you want to start cooking up the toppings. And I also added a little bit of avocado oil just so the toppings don't stick. Now we're just going to add some pepper and some salt. And now we want to go ahead and add our spinach. Alright guys, so we don't want to cook it up too much because it's going to be cooking in the oven as well with the lasagna. So this is now done. We're going to take it off the heat and put it on a plate. Alright, so we are ready to get this lasagna on the road. I got a Pyrex pan laid out right here. I put 1.5 tablespoons of avocado oil just so it doesn't stick at all and I brushed it all around make sure it's evenly coated. And now the next step is going to be to add our marinara sauce. So let's get right on that. All right, so I'm adding the marinara sauce now, just enough to cover the bottom part of the Pyrex pan. So now I'm gonna add my first layer of the lasagna sheets. And now we are gonna add our filling. So you don't want to add all of the filling at once because we're going to keep layering this and repeating the process. So the next thing I'm going to do now is add the mixture of cheeses. And now we're going to add a little bit of more sauce on top of this. And then once again, we repeat the process of layering the lasagna. And then you want to add more sauce on top of that. And then we're going to add more of the filling. All right, and then we're repeating the process, adding more cheese. And this is gonna be our last layer before we cover it with the rest of the lasagna sheet. So you can actually go ahead and add all of your filling now. And now we're adding our last layer of the lasagna sheets. And while you're doing this, you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So now you want to just smother this with your sauce and the cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the marinara on here. And I'm just making sure the sauce makes it to all parts of the lasagna sheet so it can absorb all that tomato goodness. And now I'm just adding the rest of the cheese on top of here. And we are just about ready to put this into the oven. All right guys, so now this is gonna go into the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. Check it out, here is the final product. Getting ready to take a nice slice out of it and dig in, so let's do that. Is that a sight to see or what? Look at that. Man, cannot wait to take a bite out of this for you guys. Let's do this. I already had a bite before, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I cut that first piece that you saw in the video, but I was so hungry I had to try it. But here we go. This one is for the camera, strictly. Oh yeah, super, super good guys. The only recommendation I have is uh, I actually left it in for longer than 30 minutes. So you guys definitely wanna put it in there for at least 40 minutes, you know, depending on your oven and stuff like that, or the pasta you're using. This gluten-free one said 30 minutes, but it actually needed a bit more time. So if you guys are gonna use the same pasta, then at least do 45 minutes and you should be good. Hands down, that is some really, really good lasagna. Keep in mind, these are the toppings that I use. You guys can use whatever toppings you want or whatever your favorite toppings are. I think some vegan Italian sausage would go really, really good with that. Or some tofu, I think that would be great as well, but that Italian sausage, 
probably make it a even better lasagna. But with just the veggies, I feel like it's a much healthier alternative and it's super filling, super tasty, got a ton of flavors. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already. That would help me out a ton. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.